Hi, this is Karen and I'm with inspiredbygram.com. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be creating another Thinking of You card and we'll be using the C a Silhouette Designer Series paper. So let me just bring that into the picture here. It's got a lot of bright colors like, you know, you've got your Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Mango Melody, just lots of um, bright colors, Poppy Parade, Pumpkin Pie, you name it, you've got it in this um, designer series paper. So when I was looking at this, I didn't really know what to do with it, but when I saw it in the 12 by 12 sheet, I, I liked this sheet here, which is the opposite of these amazing flowers. And I thought it reminded me of a sunset. And same with this one up here. Um, so let me just show you the cards will be um, that I created. They look totally different, but they are stamped basically the same. So we'll be making this one here today, more of a sunset. This one is more kind of like a rainbowy sunset here, but I thought both papers um, worked well. So let's um, go over the supplies we'll be needing. Uh, for the stamp sets, I have the clear mount stamp set rooted in nature, and we'll be using this tree image here. And on the inside and on the envelope, we'll be using this um, piece of wood and also thinking of you and the sentiments are words are never enough. So this is a clear amount stamp and it is retired, quote unquote. But what I have done is um, now Stampin' Up! is using this Rooted in Nature as a cling mount. So what I did to make mine cling mount, I've got my labels on here and they peel off real sweet, just like the cling mounts do. Um, but when you do um, order a cling mount stamp, you have all this extra here that is left from your labels. So I just simply use parts of this to make my clear mount stamps cling mount and they work perfect. So just a tip for you, if you want to um, put your labels on your stamps like I do, um, that's a great way of doing it. So another stamp set we'll be using is a photopolymer stamp set. So we'll need our piercing mat for that. And we'll be using the grass here. All right, so now for ink colors, we're gonna be using um, Memento Tuxedo Black. And with this, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your, your stamp pad is well inked. And we'll also be using Crumb Cake. All right, so now let's bring in the supplies we'll need. Got them all here. I've got a piece of um, so saffron, and this is cut eight and a half by five and a half and pre-scored at four and a quarter. That'll be our card base. For our inside, this is Whisper White, and it's cut four by five and a quarter. I also have a piece of basic black, which is cut three and a quarter by five and a half. So there will be no uh, margins on the, the left and right side here, so it is flush. And the Sea of Silhouette, see here's the back side of that. You could totally fuss out, fussy cut all of these um, flowers out like I did with the, um, the Hummingbird paper from my previous videos and make some really sweet cards with that. But I'm, we're going to be working with this side of the paper with the sunset side. And we will also need our Whisper White Envelope since we'll be stamping our envelope. All right, so let's get some stamping done first because that'll be the easiest. And what we're gonna do is we'll work on the grass. So I need, uh, since it's a photopolymer stamp, I'll need my piercing mat here and a scrap paper because we'll be going over the edge. Now what you need to do is figure out what where you want your sunset to be. So I'm gonna choose to work the grass down here because there's less of this like pumpkin pie. I think that's the pumpkin pie uh, color in that paper. Just so my black is gonna be coming through. All right, so like I said, you're gonna want your ink pad well inked and this looks like it's well inked and hopefully it'll stamp well. Another hot and humid day here in the state of Vermont. But, all right, so I'm gonna work um, right to left and I'm gonna go off the paper just a little bit, okay? And now I'm just gonna go all the way over, overlapping. Once that ink dries, you won't know. You, know, you shouldn't notice it. And I just got a little bit right here. All right, so now I want my grass to be just a little bit higher. So we're just gonna go over that again 
and just bring up your grass a little bit higher so it's a little bit dark so you can see it's now it's a little bit fuller down here so the grass is taller and you could kind of go up and down with it too different um, heights of grass so I'm simply overlapping and that's your silhouette of the uh, grass all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to stamp the tree and if you notice here I've got a piece of ribbon here so you don't want your tree in the center you want to uh, stamp it more towards the right side so we will bring in our tree and since this is a pretty large stamp see here I've got my label on there now it's a cling mount I'm going to bring the ink pad to the stamp and I'm not using my uh, stamparatus so I've got one shot at this to get it right so I'm going to really make sure this is inked up well and then I'm just going to stamp down so I'm, oh, I'm going to try if you notice I stamped this tree a little bit too high because it's kind of floating in the grass we don't try to make um, that happen there's a back side of a dimensional all right so now I'm going over to the right side and I'm stamping that trunk even though it's going to be in that grass area you may not see it we'll have to see when I lift up and I just notice I stamp down on a piercing mat, which you don't really need to do, so hopefully. Like I said, you got one shot at it. Here we go. And it looks good. And I like how that trunk now is not like floating in the air, kind of like this one. I'm gonna go back and use um, probably the grass again to fix that, um, but you can fix any, any card usually. All right, so we've got that stamping done. We're gonna set this aside and we'll work on uh, the so, uh, so saffron. All right, so we're gonna get this out of the way because we don't really need it anymore. And now I've got the words are never enough and we're going to ink that up in the memento. And hopefully I'll get this one straight. Um, try to be on camera for you. All right, that's not too bad actually. All right, so that is done. And now our inside panel in our envelope. We need the crumb cake ink. So we've got that over here and we'll just open up our ink pad. And we will be stamping down, let me show you the actually the envelope. I don't think I showed you that. So this is crumb cake and it is stamped off and then stamped on. So we'll get rid of that first generation ink and then we'll stamp down for a lighter shade. So I'm just gonna bring my scrap paper back in here. All right, and again, this is a fairly large image. So I wanna make sure. All right, so that is a little too dark. So I'm just gonna stamp off that once and I'm gonna put that right down in the middle. And that's a lighter shade. So now I know that thinking of you is gonna look nice. So we're just gonna do the same thing ink up our stamp, stamp off, and stamp on. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the thinking of you. This is full strength ink with crumb cake. I'm just gonna stamp that right in the middle, and then we'll do the same thing. And this one I'll have to just stamp a little bit over. And there we go. So I like to bring my themes of my cards all the way through to the envelope. All right, so we'll close all our ink pads up, get those out of the way, and we'll assemble our card. All right, so we will put that envelope away as well. Let's clean up my area. All right, so we're gonna use our adhesive and we're just gonna run it on all four sides. And bring our basic black in. And again, this is cut um, two and three quarters. I think it's two and three quarters. Yeah, two and three quarters. Or the basic black is cut um, three and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm just looking for a half in or a quarter inch border on the top and the bottom. All right, so now we're going to need to add the ribbon off to the side here. So the ribbon we're going to be using today. This is called the Glitter Organdy Ribbon. So I thought it was kind of cool. Um, it's got this little glittery in it, um, kind of remind me of the stars. 
So to make that little knot, knot I created, I'm just going to, um, actually, I need to cut my ribbon first to do that. So I don't need too much ribbon, but I wanna make sure I have enough. So I'll go over the edge about an inch or so, and I'm just going to make a knot in the center of the ribbon and then just pull it tight, okay? And then we're just gonna add this down. See, I've got way too much ribbon. And actually, we're gonna add it on this side, of course. And I'm just gonna flip this over and buy my tape here. And we'll just add this down one side and then I'm gonna flip it back over just to make sure my ribbon is correct and straight looks pretty good and there we go so I'm gonna actually trim some of this excess off because I don't really want it because we're going to be sticking this right down to the card base just make sure that tape is well stuck all right so let's bring our piece up in again this is where you're going to want going over this area of tape here you want to probably put a little extra just so we know it's going to stick. So again, the heat's up on all four sides here. And we'll bring our card base in. And I'm just kind of looking um, left and right and top and bottom. So we're spaced equally. And I know those that right and left side is going to be flush with my card base. And if, it, if it's over just a little bit, like right here, you can take your paper snips and just trim that off. So let's uh, do that. Let me just grab them. If you don't have these paper snips, I highly recommend them. When you get them, they are super, super sharp. And see how simple that is just to trim that little piece, those two pieces of paper off. And then they come with this little protector here. So like I said, they're really, really sharp. So I keep mine um, together at all times. All right, so now we'll just add our inside panel to our card and we will be almost done. All right, so I only put the adhesive at the top. I don't think you need any more than that. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of glitter. So I'm gonna take um, your tick, pick, oh my goodness, take your pick tool, <laughs> oh my gosh. And then I'm just gonna grab three rhinestones because the rhinestones are gonna bring out that little glitter in the paper or the ribbon here. So I'm just gonna put them throughout. I always work in odd numbers, so three or five, just depending on uh, my card here. So I'll just go down one down here. And you can do all different size rhinestones on this sheet right here. I've only got one side size left. And I'll just actually go over here, this one. So that just kind of brings out, I don't know if you can see this on camera or not, the little glitter here from the ribbon. So it all matches really nicely. So here's our card we just created. And the one from the other day. And I had a, a old craft envelope I used for this one. And then the other one, this other style here with the kind of rainbow um, background, that looks nice too. So for this paper and any products from Stampin' Up, you can visit my website at inspiredbygram.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.